everybody. It's me. Who am I, though? I am the very hungry caterpillar. Look, I brought all my food with me. My dear friend Marty Damon made this costume for me 25 years ago. And it still fits. And it's still full of food. Except once in a while, the pieces of lettuce or corn might fly off if I'm dancing too hard. But do I look right? The very hungry caterpillar? I don't know. It's fun to dress up and be somebody you're not for a little while. <laughs> All right. So, but I have stories that are Halloween-ish. Nothing too scary. And I have some beanbag songs. And I have a Take Your Sillies Out song. So let's do that. All right. You ready? Christopher's here with me, too. And we will both be dancing, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. There it is. Yay! Oh, here goes the horn. Darn it. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, oh, there shake my sillies <laughs> out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle, my wiggle go away. I'm going to clap, clap, clap my crazy out. dress up. You can do anything. You can be anybody. You can be a caterpillar. You can be a butterfly. You can be Martin Luther. You could be, who else have I been? I like to be somebody from a book, usually. So I've been the, ma the man in the yellow hat, Curious George's friend. Hmm. I've been Harriet the Spy. Um, hmm. I know some people like to dress up as monsters, though, right? People that are kind of scary. Sometimes there are things that scare you that are real, right? I don't know. This is, I have some stories today. Let's see if any of them are scary. Yeah, this one might be the only one. Um, <laughs> hope they won't too, be too scary. This one you might know. It's um, the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. It's by Linda Williams, and the pictures are by Megan Lloyd, and um, this, because it's a library book, it's got stickers, and you know, books that you buy at home are different from books from the library, right? And so somebody actually colored with crayon in this book, and I'll show it to you right there, so if you can see it with red crayon. And so I can't erase that. I can't clean that because it will damage the book. And look here, they scribbled on the red dress of the lady with red crayon. It's not too bad, but there's no way I can fix that. So remember when you're having a library book or other books that are special to you, if you color in a, a book with crayon or ink, it can't come out. <laughs> and it changes the book then, right? Yeah, sorry. So we'll read it anyway, because the story is awesome, and funny, and scary, but good. Okay, here we go. The little old lady who was not afraid of anything. Here we go. 
by Linda Williams and Megan Lee. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. Hmm. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her college, her, left her cottage, and she went for a walk in the forest collect herbs and spices and nuts and seeds. There's a nice cottage there. Look, she has a garden with some things growing and there's a clothesline. Let's go see what's in the woods. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes, and the shoes went thump, thump. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked down the path. But behind her, she could hear those shoes go thump, thump. A little li farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And these pants went wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go thump, thump. And one pair of pants go waggle, 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 wiggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked a little bit further. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go thump, thump, and one pair of pants go wiggle, 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 and one shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went tap, tap. And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go thump, thump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, 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 shake. Two gloves go tap, 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 tap. And one hat go nod, nod. By now the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was, when, when she was startled by a very huge, orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, boo, boo. <laughs> this time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go thump, thump. And one sh pair of pants go wiggle, 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 wiggle. And one shirt go shake, 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 shake. And two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could, and she didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. Whew. She sat in her chair by the fire, and she rocked, and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock, knock door. Should she answer it? Mm. Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and she opened it. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go thump, thump. One pair of pants go wiggle, 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 wiggle. One shirt go shake, 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 shake. Two gloves go tap, tap. One hat go nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. 
I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want, anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? <laughs> the pumpkin head suddenly looked very unhappy. Oh, I have an idea, said the little old lady. And she whispered into the pumpkin's ear. And the pumpkin head nodded, and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night and closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early and she went to her window and she looked out into the garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, 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 wiggle. One shirt go shake, 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 shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo. Boo! And scare the crows away. The end. Yay! The little old lady who was not afraid of anything by Linda Williams and Megan Lloyd. Woo! I don't think I'd want to be followed by a scary pair of pants and some clomp clomp shoes. Too scary, right? Woo! Too much. Yay! All right. So, I think that, let's see, what can we do? Hmm. Huh. Can we do, hmm, open them and shut them? Do you remember that one? You have to have two big hands for this rhyme. I think Deborah did it at baby time, too. Or maybe she did it bilingual time. So you get it three times this week. It's so good though to remember all the different all the different words, right? So we have our ten fingers. And we're gonna close them up tight. Just like that. <coughs> Ready? All right. <gasps> Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them all the way up to your chin. Open up your mouth. <gasps> oh, oh, do not let them in. Blah, blah. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. And to your shoulders fly. <laughs> and then like little birds that can flutter to the sky. <laughs> Falling. <gasps> Falling. <Ooh>. Falling. Falling. <laughs> Almost to the ground. <laughs> they picked them up again them around. Faster, 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 faster. Slower, 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 slower. Into the quiet little house. And put them in your lap. <laughs> Yay! All right, what else do I have here? Okay. I have a book about candy. Oh my gosh. Did you know that I like candy? Do you like candy? I do. I like it a lot. I have a sweet tooth. That's what you say when you like things that are sweet. And this book's about trick-or-treating. This year's a different year for trick-or-treating. I think some, some grown-ups will come up with different things to do to celebrate Halloween with you. But trick-or-treating might not be one of them this year. But next year, of course, or as soon as we can. Or maybe you'll trick-or-treat in your own house from room to room. <laughs> anyway, this book is about a, a kid that lives in a big, tall apartment building with lots of friends um, on every floor. And this is called Trick-or-Treat. It's by Mil Bill Martin, Jr. 
And Bill Martin Jr. is also the person who wrote Brown Bear, Brown Bear. And these pictures are by Michael Sampson. Oh no, Bill Martin and Michael Sampson wrote it together, I see. And the pictures I, are by Paul Meisel. Trick or treat. Hmm. Hmm, let's see what it's all about. Let's see. <sighs> Hee hee. Mommy, I'm ready to go. My, don't you look scary, my mommy said. You can go trick or treating, but only in our apartment building. I'll go with you. And remember, you only knock on doors of people we know and try not to scare them. What is he dressed up as yet? Can you tell? Oh, I see some hands in his mouth. Mommy, look at her, she's got bat earrings. Oh, it's fun to dress up. All right, up, up to the second floor. Knock, 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 knock on Knickerknacker's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Knickerknocker, and he fills my bag with candy bars. Mmm. Up to the third floor. Knock, 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 knock. I need a thing to knock on. I'll use this book to make a sound. There we go. Up to the third floor. Knock on Slipper Slopper's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Slipper Slopper. And she fills my bag with peanut cups. Peanut cups, hmm. Up to the fourth floor. Knock on Wiggle Waggle's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Wiggle Waggle. And he fills my bag with tangerine drops. Hmm. Up to the fifth floor. Knock on Limber Lambert's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Limber Lambert. And she fills my bag with licorice twists. Mm. Up to the sixth floor. Knock on Fiddle Faddle's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Fiddle Faddle. And he fills my bag with peanut butter. <laughs> Up to the seventh floor. Knock on Pumper Pickle's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Pumper Pickle. And she fills my bag with caramel pops. Mmm. Oh, so good. Up to the eighth floor. Knock on Thimble Famble's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Thimble Thimble, and he fills my bag with chocolate sticks. Up to the ninth floor. Knock on Teeter Totter's door. Trick or treat. Treat, says Teeter Totter, and he fills my bag with jelly beans. Up to the tenth floor. Knock on Magic Merlin's door. Trick or treat. But there is no answer. Trick or treat. Still no answer. Trick or treat. Trick. The door flies open and Merlin waves his magic wand at me. Now everything is whack bards. Merlin laughs as he slams his door on me. Whack bards. Uh-oh. Down to the ninth floor. Knock on Teeter Totter's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Teeter Totter. And he fills my bag with belly jeans. Belly jeans? Down to the eighth floor. Knock on Thimble Thamble's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Thimble Thamble. And he fills my bag with stocklet chicks. Stocklet chicks. Hmm. Down to the seventh floor. Knock on Pickle Pumper's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Pinkle Pumper. And she fills my bag with paramel cops. Paramel cops. Hmm. Down to the sixth floor. Knock on Fiddle Faddle's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Fiddle Faddle. And he fills my bag with beanut putter. 
Peanut putter. <laughs> Down to the fifth floor. Knock on Lambert Limbert's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Lambert Limber. And she fills my bag with twickerous lists. Twickerous lists. Mm -hmm. Down to the fourth floor. Knock on Waggle Wiggle's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Waggle Wiggle. And he fills my bag with Drangerine tops. Drangerine tops. Hmm. Down to the third floor. Knock on Slipper Slopper's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Slipper Slopper. And she fills my bag with sea nut pups. Sea nut pups. Down to the second floor. Knock on Knocker Knicker's door. Trick or treat. Trick, says Knocker Knicker, and he fills my bag with bandy cars. Bandy cars. Do you remember he got candy bars from him before? Now he's got bandy cars. Down to the first floor. Knock on my apartment door. Trick or treat. Treat, says my daddy as he hugs me in his arms. <laughs> But Daddy, look at my backwards candy, I cry. Looks yummy to me, he laughs. A mountain of candy. Candy bars, peanut cups, tangerine drops, licorice twists, peanut butter, caramel pops, chocolate sticks, and jelly beans. The power of my Daddy's hug has broken the backwards spell. We laughed and we laughed and we ate and we ate and we never saw Merlin again. The end. <laughs> Yay, trick or treat. Bill Martin and Michael Sampson wrote this one. Does it make you hungry for candy? Mmm, I don't know what my favorite is. There are so many good ones. <laughs> All right. So, again, I didn't bring any bag of rice to shake with you, but I do have my egg shakers. So, I'm going to use one of those. It's going to be blue today. Maybe Christopher wants one to shake. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. So we can shake, we can shake for our chicken song that we like. Okay, you ready? Something to shake or something to play that, that you can hold. All right, go like this. Chick, 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 chicken. Lay a little egg for me. <laughs> Chick, 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 and I want one for my tea. I haven't had an egg since breakfast, and now it's half past three. So, chick, 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 and lay a little egg for me. Yay! Yay for chickens! <laughs> Should we do Humpty Dumpty? Maybe we can do Humpty Dumpty on our heads right away. Can you put something on your head and try not to drop him? An egg, a hard boiled egg would work, not a real egg though. Oh, you can put a toy on your head. You can put a sock on your head. Let's try it. We can pretend it's Humpty. You ready? You could hold him with your fingers as well. Whoa! As well, because he's slippery up there. Here we go. Ah! I'm going to hold him with my fingers. Ready? <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <laughs> all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Aw, poor Humpty Dumpty. Aw. All right. Let's read again. What do you think? Maybe one more, maybe two more. What time is it? Woo! All right, I have a book about a garden, and maybe you have a garden. This one's about growing pumpkins in your garden. I read this almost every year because the photos are so amazing to me. It's, um, <laughs> it's called Pumpkin Circle, and it's the story of a garden with photos by, look how this works. That's like the uh, curving vine of a pumpkin because it, it's a vine. The Story of a Garden by, photo photography by 
Shmuel Thayer, Thaler, and story by George Levinson. Pumpkin Circle. Nice, huh? Do you grow any pumpkins? I think they're easy to grow. I've never done it, though. Have you done it, Krista? No, no, not me. Ooh, look at that. Pumpkins are so delicious, too. So they're beautiful and delicious. Wow. Look at that. I bet your house doesn't look like that. Mine does not. I've never seen that many pumpkins except in this book. Whew. The pumpkin seed makes the pumpkin plant, and the pumpkin plant makes pumpkins. Ooh. Deep within each pumpkin, the air is damp and cool. The walls are lined with teardrop seeds, each one a slippery jewel. Scrape them from their orange cave. Wash away the squishy mush. Save a few to grow next spring and have a bunch to munch. Mm. When the earth is soft and warm, plant those sleeping seeds. In about one week, out they peek, two fresh young fat green leaves. The garden will be home to many pumpkin cousins Spooky, Max, Lumina, Lagrand, and Tiny Munchkin. One big pumpkin family, five varieties. Each one started from different pumpkin seeds. Hmm. This one must be the one called Munchkin. Look how small it is. Hmm. Every passing minute, awakens each new plant, reaching down with silky roots, reaching up to dance. Week by week, the backyard patch spreads before your eyes, filling every inch of space with leaves and roots and vines. Wow, look how big that got. It's all green. one pumpkin there maybe oh maybe just one they hide underneath the leaves huge green leaves grow toward the sky prickly lush and wide they soak up sun and water and make a shady place to hide Ooh, twisty tendrils grasp like hands stretching out to cling they roll down into fancy curls and wind up just like springs. Then silently as angels, flower buds appear with pointy little collars and gleaming silver hair. Velvet petals open, brilliant, sunlit bowls, delicately fragrant, a sign of pumpkin gold. Along come the bees floating through the air, buzzing, gathering, guzzling, <laughs> zooming everywhere. <laughs> That's a little noise. Butterflies and spiders, grasshoppers and snails, Explore the pumpkin garden as they travel private trail. A hundred days of weather, a hundred days of care. Pumpkins climbing up the fence, pumpkins everywhere. Help those pumpkins sit up straight so they grow up round and proud. Scratch their pumpkin names so they stand out in a crowd. Or just sit back, enjoy the view. Pumpkins grow because pumpkins know exactly what to do. When summer turns to fall, green turns to gold. Shorter days bring chilly nights and pumpkin vines grow old. Now comes the harvest. Pluck treasures from the vines. Clear away lifeless leaves. Hide the rags of time.
gather up the finished fruit, ripe and fully grown. Tidy up the garden, make a cozy pumpkin home. Salute the pumpkin circle, make way for pumpkin cheer. Behold, the pumpkin miracle. We're pumpkin millionaires. Make up pumpkin faces, add bright candlelight. Set them on your doorstep, let them flicker through the night. Then every day, these pumpkins change, getting older, getting strange, sinking, shrinking pumpkin. Back to earth you go, turning into muck and dirt, a place for seeds to grow. How did this begin? What is this pumpkin thing? Is there a mother nature? Is there a pumpkin king? We can be sure of this, it's a circle without end. It's pumpkin seeds to pumpkins to pumpkin seeds again. The end. And it tells you in the back of this book how to grow pumpkins if you want to try it yourself. Yay, pumpkin circle. Yay. Alrighty. So, what else do I have? Oh, gosh. Is it time to do a beanbag play? Yes. Okay. All right. If you have a beanbag, that would be great. But if you don't, you can use a stuffed animal or a shoe or a sock or a washcloth or um, a gerbil. No, I don't know. People don't have gerbils anymore. You can use your costume part. You can use a glove. I don't know. So many things you can do. All right. Let's see. I have an orange beanbag today. Orange for Halloween colors. Yay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go. Okay, we're going to start this song off by putting the beanbag on your shoulder. Take that beanbag, put it on your shoulder, keep it on your shoulder. That's the way we your knees. take that beanbag, put it on your knee. for story time. It was nice that you could join me and I wasn't lonesome. 
I'm still lonesome, but not as lonesome. I miss you, and we love you. And if you need a, a bag of books, let us know. Call us up. We'd love to see you uh, on the other side of a bag, <laughs> on the other side of a window. So, all right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. We'll do something new. All right. Thank you. Bye, friends. Bye. <laughs>